Welcome back, welcome back. This message is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please only take messages that resonate. You will know intuitively for Scorpio. Spirit as universe, ancestors of the highest. But like, please be clear and precise messages for Scorpio. Please and thank you. Whoa, Scorpio. Scorpio. So we have thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. Don't believe every anything you hear. You are, okay, it's a stop obsessing. Rebel, somebody is about to like take a risk. Okay, it's a be effing grateful. She could be so much worse. Yeah, someone is grateful for you and they want you. Okay, like somebody about to take a risk. It's a rebel because effort. Yeah, somebody is just in a, just doing like Nike energy. Like I'm getting the energy like, mm. It's a move on time to let go. Yes, yeah, so I'm telling you. Somebody about to jump ship. We got to get the F outside, move your body. Mm-hmm. Somebody been in hurry mode too, too long. They're about to come out. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Stop sleeping so damn much. Yeah, somebody been in hurry mode. It's a get the ugly cry on. What? So that's all. So somebody could be crying because somebody is about to leave or walk away or something is over. Okay? Like, somebody is about to jump ship. Or this could be y'all. Y'all say y'all over it. Y'all tired of crying. Okay? Y'all tired of this person lying, cheating, and stealing, and thieving, and creeping, and, and doing all types of stuff. Okay, y'all can't sleep. This person got you up, tossing and turning. This person don't come home. You don't know where this person be at all day. Okay. This person always telling you one thing but doing another. Sheesh, who is this energy? Somebody had enough detox. Yeah, somebody about to really access deny somebody all day life. Like, they about to cut the cords. Okay. And say, yeah, watch out. It's just about to get ugly. Yeah, because somebody being fake or somebody is... Being wishy-washy or somebody is like playing with somebody. Okay? Wow. Somebody going to find out somebody's spouse is cheating and creeping. Okay? And I ain't even talking about on the weekend. All right? Well, this is crazy. Y'all is too much. What y'all got going on, Scorpio? But Scorpio energy is about death and transformation when it comes to causing endings or going through endings in order to make a brand new beginning or transformation or change or whatever. Is they help people give back, do ish for humanity, get over yourself, pull your ish together. Mm. So the universe is highly pissed off at this person because this person is seeing the signs, but they're not paying attention. So because they're not paying attention, it's like the universe is about to bring in a tower. Well, they're about to cause a tower, okay? Because somebody is wanting and obsessing somebody else. Somebody already had their mind made up with this rebel energy. Okay? Somebody's sitting up here saying one thing, but the whole time feeling another way. So say, for instance, this person is like, I don't care what you do. You can just do what you want to do. Like, showing you signs like they they don't want you, but the whole time this person going crazy for you in the background and shit like that. Okay? Because I think their lies or their emotions are catching it to them. Like, it's festering. It's coming to the surface. Like, this person is about to... It's like I'm getting the energy of a volcano eruption. That's what that is. It's like when all the passion and all and everything you're trying to hold in, you try to keep it in. And it's like too much fire. It's just too much heat. You like the way you eat? Everything that's out there, that's on me. It's wonder when I walk. Looking like you just trying to fuck, just trying to fuck girl. I'm telling you, it's too much passion. It's too much heat. That shit is festering at somebody, and they're about to have a volcano eruption. Like, somebody is about to explode. Oh, damn. I'm hearing something else, too. But I ain't going to say that shit. Hell no. Y'all person better stop what they do. Okay? Look, your person is way down. Pimp down. Hole in distress. <laughs> your person is, 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 is bad. Full, full, full. Like, let's see what y'all got going on. The page of pentacles. It's even to the point where this person to even make up a lie and say they got to do something just to get to you. That's crazy. <laughs> Who is 
is this person? We got the page of pentacles. Okay, they got to troll the other person just to get what they want. <laughs> That's why the universe is like, nah, buddy, you're going to do this the right way. Either you're going to go towards this person correctly or you're just going to stay in a relationship you don't want to be in. I'm telling you because this person wants you. Three of Cups, look, they just asking the divine, like, please do this one favor for me, save it for me. I'm trying to change my play of ways. It gets too complicated for me. They cannot stop watching you. They're hooked on you, like hooked on phonics. I told you somebody about to have a volcano eruption. Like, they want to get next to you. They just want to be around you. It's like this person. They could be teaching you patience, but it's like even if this person is trying to teach you patience, they running out of patience. Because for some reason, I'm starting to get, like, antsy, like, all of a sudden. Five, five, five. Like, y'all understanding the lessons. Y'all getting it. Like, y'all already passed the patient stage. It's just you could feel this person, like, anxiousness, like, anxiety. So anxious by genuine. That's what this is. Okay? Because this person knows they don't act now or don't if they don't move now. Somebody else is going to move on that ass. 616, I'm telling you. <clears throat> yeah, eight of swords. And that's what this person is thinking about constantly. Five of cups. And they get in their feelings. Boy, oh boy, I tell you. The thought of somebody even trying to get next to you or, or, or get up on you is like... Look, please don't let this person fool y'all, young. I don't care what this person say, what this person do. They don't even want to hear nothing about nothing. Like, don't say nothing. Like, because this person thinks that you're playing them, but you're not playing them. It's just like, this person is still indecisive. They don't know what they want. Okay? They want to still touch and feel on their booty or still... Get up on the uh the pogo stick, but they don't want to sit up here and make a decision. And that's why spirit is like, look, bro, it's gonna be a time that's about to be had. Because which I'm supposed to be sitting and waiting forever while this person make up their mind, or and then they make up their mind and they go back on it. So it's like this person playing games with y'all. And that's what spirit don't got time for. That's why divine intervention is here with the temperance. They about to shake some shit up. And it's not to like <clears throat> put fear in this person to make them rush towards you. No, it's just like how some of y'all, y'all been waiting for years on these men, on these masculines or whatever. I would hope not. And some of y'all probably ain't even been that long. Okay. But it's like, it's putting y'all dating life on pause. But it's like, even though it's like y'all go out and date somebody, y'all get serious with somebody else, and y'all start liking somebody else, and then boom, here come this person. Like, that's some fucked up shit, don't y'all think? Like, we got to think realistically here. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to come off like that to make nobody get offensive or to feel some kind of way, but that's what this person is doing to y'all, making y'all feel some kind of way. Because it's like, y'all so intuitive deep down inside, y'all know this person want the same thing as you. But <clears throat> it's like they don't want to um, do nothing about it. So it's like, yeah, that's why spirit is like divine intervention. Six of Swords, because they're, they can, they're trying to guide this person to you or guide you to this person. Or they're trying to guide the situation, but this person want to be in so much control or whatever. Now, maybe this person feel like you being in control. It's just, okay, this is what I'm trying to say, y'all. Because when I do card readings, other suitors do come out in your energy, you know, because y'all are talking to other people or it's other people that's attracted to you. Not saying that you're choosing other people over this person. Maybe that's a lesson that this person got to learn from you, okay, to, like, see how I feel to get chosen. By, like, what? No, that's fucked up. See, hold on. See, I'm, I get what Spirit trying to say. God damn, hold on, Spirit. Hold on. Because they were alive in my neck. Because they, it's like somebody ancestors, like, bruh. Like, somebody Spirit guys is at your neck. Like, it's not even a joke. Like, I just got overwhelmed. Y'all seen how, like, frustrated I got all of a sudden out the blue? Like, hold on, I'm trying to get it out. But I can't get it out. What I'm trying to say is, because when other energies come out, I have to be able to tell the collective that it's other energies attracted to them. Because I can't just stay focused on 
just this one particular masculine because it's confusing people and they some because some people actually moved on and they're not waiting on their masculine and some people is still waiting so it's like i gotta go along with the energies i can't stay put on one particular energy you get what i'm saying so it's confusing people so what spirit is trying to get this person to understand is either they're going to reconcile with you or they're not it's just that simple so that way they can just that, that you can move on you can move around because even if this person is walking away from you and not saying nothing, they're still in your energy, okay? Still fantasizing about you, still losing sleep over you, still fiending for you, yearning for you, still want you. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what spirit is trying to get this person to understand. Like, you cannot run from spirit. Like, they know everything. Yeah, page along. You cannot run from spirit. So it's like the feelings you can you can hide to everybody else around you that you don't feel this way about this person, man or woman. But spirit knows what you're feeling. That's why spirit is on your ass because spirit don't want to sit up here and see 11, 11 behind closed doors. So this is a twin that you feel this way about this person and they turn around and bring somebody else in. And then it's like, damn, you see how like spirit is working in your favor, trying to work in the timing of you. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Because I think it's the masculine that needs to hear this. Like, spirit is trying to work in your favor as well. But it's not It's not fair to other people, too, if they're attracted to this person. I hope that makes sense. Because then it's like, now you're starting the whole karmic cycle. Because now it's going to be a third-party situation. And y'all don't want to keep opening up third party cycles and shit like that and then having to clear out that karmic debt like no you get what i'm saying like this person they just gotta really be clear and on the decision that they want to make 12 12 because spirit is only moving and acting moving over of this person and what they want and what they say they want because behind closed doors, 1222, they're talking to spirit. They're talking to their ancestors. They're saying this. They're saying that. Because it's their feelings. Like, they, spirit knows your feelings and emotions, okay? But it's like this person, I don't know, y'all. They just not doing nothing about it. And spirit is like, okay, well, what do you want us to do? Because we're not going to put you in a third-party situation. We're going to be respectable of your feelings and every party involved. That's what people got to understand. Like, it's about... Not just about you. It's about other par other parties involved. Like, you can't sit up here and say you want this and then you playing around with other people. Like, no, you playing with people's feelings here. That's how karma starts. And then you can't get mad when tables turn and then that same shit that you did to this person happened to you. You see what I'm saying? Like, everybody got to be fair here. We got to be balanced out over here. We cannot be in balance 13, 13. It's like, you got to see where you go wrong at. And where the person go wrong at because the person is only reacting and responding off of you. Okay? We got the three of wands. Yeah, and then the sun. It's like, what you gonna do? Okay. Cause you can call it in all day long. You could be manifesting this person all day long, but you can manifest a person and still not be ready. That's why spirit is like they not gonna force you. Like just clearly just decide what you're gonna do. So they can move Scorpio on to something else. You feel me? I hope like I ain't like I hope that makes sense, y'all. For real. Cause I know like it's other cause every time I read the cards, <laughs> I know people be like, huh? What? Cause I can feel it and I can hear it. You get what I'm saying? So it's a reason why I'm trying to clear the air for y'all to get more understanding. That's why divine intervention is at play. 1414. 14, so just, yeah, what's the sun? We got the Ace of Wands, a new passion to begin, and the Six of Wands, victory. Some of you guys, you just had to stand your ground or just realize, be more stern with this person. Because I guess this person just thought that you was playing with them. Like, wow. So this person real life just used to people playing with them. That's what this is. So when something is seriously, when somebody is really in love with this person, they don't know what that is. 1444. Yeah, like, they take shit for granted. Five of Pentacles. I guess this person feel like 
need it like you need okay 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 hold on spirit because they coming through with the messages this person like you gotta like beg them to be in their life or something like that or if you beg them that's the way that they that you that's the way that they see love or they view love it's something weird like that going on like the way that they view love or the way that they get love in their life or the way that they were receiving love in their life it was very weird that's why when it came to you, it was like, this person always questioned it. It was hard for them to believe. That's why I said this person, like, people play with this person. I don't, I don't know no other way to say it. And it's like, you can relate to it because you got played with too. That's why I said it was a lesson. So check out Aries reading. That was the lesson I had to learn when it comes to, like, being rejected. Okay, by someone that you need. Cause that's how this person was like they used to like people needing them 1555 like but they needed this person for all the wrong things but when somebody really needed them for something it's like this person didn't know how to like be receptive to it. damn yeah you still need yeah that's why i named that aries reading like um master learning the arts of your twin 1616, 16, because if you don't know this person that ends and out, I'm telling you, you're going to get with this person and they're and they going to fucking irritate you. Or they're going to throw y'all off or they're going to blow you because you ain't take the time to get to know this person. And we got the King of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's you. King of Cups. I'm telling you, because everybody wanted this person for the wrong things. Like, you're actually trying to give this person what they need, and that's love. Whatever this person thought love was when they was getting it before, that was not love, baby. It wasn't. Like, people was just wanting attention. Like, that's all it was. Like, it was just who you were and who you are and then, and then what you have and what you got is what made these people validate you or made these people want you. When some of these people ain't even want you. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, damn, see, this is why I don't like to do this. But I gotta be real with you because you're like you're you're their twin so because like your twin know what you've been through like your feminine experience that too people that say that they want you but really don't want you they only want what you have to take advantage of you and then when they sit and like disregard you or they dismiss you down they sit up here and make it seem like that you needed them like we all like some of us we experienced that that's how i can talk about that shit and say it so freely without being ashamed about it or being prideful you get what i'm saying because we all was like that to somebody before. You get what I'm saying? And that's why karma just comes back around. And it, and it, um, damn, that's why karma always come back in different shit, like different forms. Like karma always know your address. It don't miss, not near, not a beat. That's what I'm saying. So for some of you, if you like was to the point to where though you say you wanted somebody, but you ain't really want them. You just needed it. Like, it, I hope y'all get what I'm saying, bro. <sighs> It's like, that's how this person was to people. Maybe they was the type of person like, or vice versa. People always say they wanted them, but they never really wanted this person. Okay? So it's like they played on this person's vulnerability or their insecurities or what they say that they needed. So say, for instance, like this person always got into relationships with you, a man or a woman, and you always told people, what you've been through or what you experienced. And that right there is show people, oh, what you need. So now they're just going off of what you need. Oh, you only need me for this. I'm only going to come around because I'm assuming you need me for this. Like, what? You cannot think like that. We got the Empress. Not trying to say it like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I know. I just get so passionate about what I do. Okay? Because I really actually like helping people like heal and grow because i had to heal and grow myself you feel me so i don't mind doing it maybe to other people they'd be like oh you extend yourself too much or you always care for people too much and it's like that's me i'm the queen of cups what i'm supposed to be a bitter sad miserable as feminine energy like no what am i bitter sad miserable for those sides or them parts of me if i ever feel like i gotta be bitter or, or hate somebody so damn much. I'm just not even going to talk to you. Like, it's never that serious. Like, when I actually fuck with somebody, care for somebody, love somebody, that's what the fuck it is. I'm not going to fake it. What the fuck? You think I'd be a divine feminine if I was faking my energy or faking who I am? Like, what? 
I'm not an imposter. We don't have imposter syndrome over here. We know who we are. We stand in it truthfully. Whether who like it or not. Like, I don't need nobody to validate me and who the fuck I am and what the fuck I got going on. What's wrong with y'all? I need y'all to sit the fuck down. I'm telling y'all going to take all the way. Y'all going to take several the fuck seats y'all coming over here on these parts. I'm telling you. We don't need to play those type of games, huh? We don't. Because we already know how the game is played, bruh. Like, we've been there, done that. This shit that people still still learning and still trying to do. I'm not trying to boast and brag because I know somebody like, oh, uh, here we come. Like, who cares, bruh? That's a personal problem with you. You need a hell work on. You feel me? Like, you cannot stop me because I'm standing confidently in my energy and who I am. And that's just facts. But anyway, not it's not about me, y'all. Like, real life shit. But I just had to clear the air. Because I know I got haters, bro. And I got they got to sit their ass down, too. Shit. Not about to keep coming over here, running your mouth and shit. Shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody trying to keep hearing that. You're not going to come over here and tell me what the fuck to do. Because I'm still going to be running my mouth. If you don't want to be on my channel, you can exit stage left. I love you. Okay? I really do. It's all love over here. We got the emperor. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. It's like the more you stand in your energy, the more this mask is gonna stand up in his. Just period. Cause you gotta remind yourself, like y'all is a reflection of each other. Y'all mirror each other. So if you are feeling like, uh, and like if you like, oh, I'm not good enough, or oh, I don't deserve you, oh, da, da, da. like if you having all those episodes, this person go ahead and save them episodes. Yeah, look, the devil and the ace of swords. You got to be able to, like, slay your demons. Because that's all it is. And sometimes these demons are other people. There are people around you. Like, that you think that needs to validate you. Or that you think that's telling you good advice. And they really not. They really hating on you. For real, for real. And the person that you're attracted to. Because they can look at this person. Man or woman that you're attracted to. And be like, oh, no. Nah, Y'all going to be big shit. Because it's like this person alone and their energy and then this masking alone with their energy. Like, everybody can tell that y'all going to be popping. Like, it's, it's like, damn. You know how, uh, how can I say this? You know how you didn't experience so much in your life, 22, 22, like the pain, the hurt, and all that shit. You had to endure so much. And then it's like when you get with when you finally get with somebody, it's like now you and that person shitting on everything, everybody. That's what that is. How can I name this shit? Oh my gosh. You know how they always be like, oh, the grass was greener or some shit like that. Or whatever the case may be. But the whole time it's like the grass is really under you, divine feminine. Look at that. That's why I said the more you stand in your strengths, it's going to make this masculine stand in his. Like, they ain't going to have no choice but to, like, crown their queen or crown their king. It's like people ain't going to have no choice but to bow down. It's like bow down to the king, bow down to the queen. Like, that's what the fuck that is. Like, people... <laughs> People ain't gonna have no choice but to fall the fuck back and get the fuck in line. That's what the fuck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, this is crazy, y'all. I'm telling you. They not. Like, people ain't gonna have no choice. Because all it is, is just more so people around this person that's just doing the talking and gossiping. Like, you minding your business, literally just shining the light. You just shining. Look, with your flashlight in your hand. You like, you know where to find me. You know where I'm at every time you, whenever you need me and shit like that. That's what I'm saying. You have what this person need. These people don't. And that's a lesson that this person got asked themselves. Like, what is it I do need? Like, what is it that I really truly want? Okay. Because it could be the external energies around this person. Like, people could be saying, nah, that's not a good look. Nah, I don't think you should. Nah, nah, this person ain't going to fit in. Nah, nah, nah. How you going to tell somebody that they going to fit into something? You don't even know this person, bro. When you the emperor, you blend in and fit in with anything. It's just you stand out. And that's what these people don't. <laughs> these people some haters, bro. Who the fuck is these people, young? I'm sorry, masculine. These are your folks, your friends, whoever, bro. They some haters, y'all. They hate on you. Because they don't want you doing better than them. 
They already can tell it. I'm telling you, people can see your future before you can see it, bruh. If they met your feminine before, seen your feminine before, if you talked about your feminine to these people, I'm telling you, bruh, they can just look at you and him or her and him and be like, oh, no. Like, we already know how this about to go. They about to come in and shut down sharp. Like, ain't nothing about to come in between these people. I'm telling you. Because this person is, you are going to be on the scene every time this person is on the scene. It's like this person, when this person gets with somebody, it's like that person is with them every day, all the time, 25, 25. It's like you won't miss a beat with this person. It's like yin and yang energy. They there, you're there. Like, that's how that is. And people know that. That's why they like, uh-uh, nah, you need to stay away from that person. Nah, you, that ain't person ain't for you. Nah, 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 nah. And it's like, how you going to tell somebody what their trial and errors is? Like, stop what you doing. Like, God already took the will. Like, God is already in control of this. I told you. He already took the will. He's in control of this. Like, these people ain't running nothing. But their mouth, whether they talking good about the masculine or good about the feminine or bad about the masculine or bad about the feminine, it don't matter. That's why this person don't feel as confident enough to even, like, want to be with you or be around you or approach you so now it's like you're just sitting on a log trying to figure out this person's emotions and feelings when spirit know the universe and god know what this person is feeling about you and they know too it's just they're afraid to let other people know and spirit is like sir we won't shake up this damn towel if you don't stand up against these people and be like look this is what it is i don't know what's wrong with y'all but like I don't know. That's probably a lesson that this person has to learn, too. Like, standing up for themselves. Or just at least saying, shit, who knows? Like, look, I don't know. Because you never know. Like, when you somebody that, like, you know how, like, when you were a child, right? I, I'm pretty sure this would resonate with a few of us, most of us, or majority of us, or whatever the case may be. How you know how you want something so bad as a child... But you afraid to say it because you 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 afraid that your mother gonna be like, boy, if you old oh, girl, I did not tell you like did not like that's what it is. This person is afraid of the backlash. It's like you want something so bad. It's like you a child and you want something so bad. You like, man, like you just sitting there just fest festering. It's just and two like it just come out and it explodes. Twenty seven twenty because that's what it's gonna be. You want something so bad. It's like you're a child. You want something so bad. It's like, man, I know I need that. It's like, it's something telling me I need this person. Like, I just can't put my finger on why I need this person this much. Like, and this person probably ain't never need nothing so bad in their life ever. That's because that's God that's trying to show and tell this person something. Like, some of y'all, y'all think it's like, oh, we going to get back together this and the third. No, it's. It's a missing piece of the puzzle in this person's life that you have to, like, connect them to be whole again, bruh. Like, some people, like, think that when they get with their twin, it's going to be all peaches and cupcakes and roses. Yeah, you're going to have your moments where it's intimate, it's very romantic and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be. But you still got to be able to fill that void and that puzzle piece that this person is missing. Whatever that is, whether it's love, intimacy, care, like, whatever that is, like, y'all should know what y'all person eat. Or want, okay? Because it's like, yeah, that's what it is. It's just you're going to have to find that missing puzzle that this person needs. Like, this person could be at a distance from y'all. But it's like, maybe you feel as though it's too distant or... This person burned a bridge with you and they feel like that they got to come back across that bridge and rekindle that bridge or reconnect that bridge. Because this person feel like they burned a bridge with you. They feel like they burned too many bridges with you. Damn. What y'all person had going on? And that's probably why they in a lot of uh, regret. And it's like whatever they did towards you is what they think about the most. Knight of Pentacles. But this person always wanted to go steady with you. Like, they always wanted to, like, take their time in getting to know you and building a relationship. So, it's not like this person didn't want to, like, get to know you or be around you. It was just the other energies around this person. 
And it, well, and it's masculine. They're standing all the way in their emperor energy. I'm telling you, you stand upright in your emperor's energy. This masculine is going to fall in line. They're going to do the same thing. Because y'all is like reflecting each other with the sun, right? In between you and this person at a distance. You're just revealing to this person what they couldn't like really see. Like they was there around it. And they thought that they could see it, but they really couldn't see it. Like, you know how you say you put your finger on it? You know people is, like, not in agreement to what this person is feeling, what their wants are, what their needs are. See, there it go again. It's like when you were a child. It's like you always wanted and need something, but your parents or your friends or your 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 um family members ain't never want you to do what you wanted, what you needed, what you feel was best for you. That's just like that. That's this lesson, this masculine learning. And you hear the sign, it's like, now is the time, like, to really stand on your own. Okay? And say what you want and say what you need. Not what everybody else wants and not what everybody else needs. I'm telling you, because you're going to be hoping for happiness all your life. You're going to be hoping, wishing, and praying for happiness, for peace. For love, and it's still, it's, it's, it's just not going to come past you. It's not going to come back. Because it's like when it was given to you freely, out of nowhere, it's like you let others, like, push it away or you let others validate what love is for you. How do they know the love that you need or want in your life? Like, I just, like, having them people around you don't even know what love is their self because they don't know what it is to give to their self. You get what I'm saying? So how can you tell anybody else? How to love somebody. Like, until you love somebody else, I mean, damn, let me slow down. Until you love yourself, you'll be able to love somebody else. And it starts with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, you getting free love, like, just free game and all that, and you not even, like, taking up. Like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Because I don't want to do too much. You get what I'm saying? Because it's, like, different strokes for different folks. Like, everybody has their reasons or... Why they do stuff the way they do. But it's like this person got to slay these demons in their life. Because that's all it is. Okay? Demons don't know what love is. How a demon going to tell this masculine what love is? Like, just make it make sense. Because they're too, they're too fleshly. Like, they're too materialistic. They're superficial people. Okay, they're like AIs, artificial intelligence. So they can't even tell you what love feel like. And you know what love feel like. You know it, you feel it, you sense it. It's at the core of your stomach. You know it. But you going against it because of everyone else. Or what other people are saying. And it's like, y'all just don't see what I see. Like, this person is so beautiful to me. Like, this person is amazing. Like, this person makes me so happy. This person makes me feel so... Because it's not for them to see. That's why I said, stop saying and telling people shit. Like, sometimes you just got to, like, just do what you want to do. And stop explaining yourself to people and stop telling people. 